A Grand Prix weekend is a highly complex event which must be kept to a tight schedule. In this video, we will take you through the structure of the event from the first team arriving to the start of the next weekend. Welcome to F1 for Dummies, and today we are talking about the F1 weekend schedule. I'm Luke Trigger, and it's simply F1. Wednesday The first thing that needs to arrive at the track is all of the equipment which is used over the weekend. Each team has about five sets of tools and facilities that are needed for when the car arrives. This is managed by two crews who set up the garages at alternating races to ensure a smooth operation throughout the weekend. Also on Wednesday, the media centre is set up. This involves over 100 cameras and the broadcasting facilities to send the weekend's coverage all around the world. Thursday On Thursday, the cars, the teams and the drivers arrive at the track for the first time. The drivers will have a tour of the circuit and may do promotion for their teams and sponsors. Historically, Thursday used to be the dreaded media day for the drivers, but this has now been moved to Friday morning due to a regulation change made in late January. The drivers also need to spend time in the garage, talking to the engineers about the car setup they want over the weekend. The cars are transported in pieces to save costs and prevent damage. This means that when they arrive on Wednesday evening or Thursday morning, the first priority is assembling and testing the car ready for runs on Friday. Friday Friday is where the fun starts. The drivers do their interviews, the cars get run, and everything comes to life. Starting from three and a half hours before the first practice, the drivers can be interviewed by the media. This is a new change for 2022, and now the interviews can only go on for a total of two hours. This is to reduce the stress on the drivers over the now shorter working period. Next is free practice one, which is where the car is run at full speed for the first time each weekend. This is generally used by the teams to get the setup of the car exactly to the driver's liking. This is the first of three 60-minute practice sessions that the teams partake in over Friday and Saturday. Next is free practice two. Friday afternoon session is where the teams do their long runs with full tanks of fuel and generally use their first of two sets of hard tyres. This session is usually a good indicator of race pace and a sign for all you fantasy players out there to decide your team based on the timings. You can come join our league from our Discord. The link is in the description down below. Friday evening is also the first time we see changes on a sprint weekend, with the second practice replaced by qualifying. This is so the cars have time on Saturday to prepare for the sprint. We talked about this in our previous F1 for Dummies video, where we explained all about F1 sprint races. Saturday on Saturday morning, there is a practice session where the cars will do qualifying lap simulation to try and squeeze every thousandth of a second ahead of the afternoon qualifying. The cars are generally run on low fuel and multiple sets of soft tyres are used. This generally is a pretty good indication of true one lap pace and the grid for Sunday. Qualifying This is what decides the grid for both the sprint, if there is one, and the race. It is split over three sessions, named Q1, Q2 and Q3. These start with Q1, where all the cars try to put together the fastest lap they can in the 18 minutes of this session. After the chequered flag is flown, all the cars who are not currently on a lap must make their way back to the pits. The slowest five cars will then be removed from further sessions. Next is Q2, a 15 minute session where all remaining cars run again to go as fast as they can around a single lap. The slowest five cars are eliminated before the start of Q3, where the fastest driver in the last 12 minutes is given first place on Sunday's grid. The race start order is decided by the order of the time in which the driver last competed. For example, if a driver came 15th in Q1 and 12th in Q2, but the Q1 time was faster, they would still be in P12 for the race start. On a weekend where a sprint race occurs, this is slightly different because qualifying decides the starting order of the sprint. Sunday On Sunday morning there are sometimes support series races. These are typically F2, F3 and the W series, where you see the possible champions of the future in more standardised cars. These races are generally shorter, but with more cars making exciting, more competitive wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. From 40 minutes before the race, the track opens and the cars can slowly run on installation reconnaissance laps before driving through the pit while the teams prepare the setup equipment on the grid. Next, the cars line up in their qualifying slot and are prepared for the start of the race. Then, it's lights out and away we go. We get 300 kilometers of fast racing, which takes about two hours. Championship points are awarded for the top 10 finishers, ranging from 25 points for the first down to the one point for 10th. 
A point is also given to the driver who achieved the fastest lap if they were positioned in the top 10 for a maximum of 26 points. After the race is done, the drivers may be checked for the legality of their equipment. For example, the car and the drivers will be weighed. After this, the trophies are given and the drivers are interviewed, which concludes the coverage of the weekend. The teams will now pack up their equipment for the start of the next events and fly to the next track. We hope you found this useful. What do you think could be added to an F1 weekend? And what is your favourite part of the event? Thanks for watching our F1 for Dummies video. We hope you learned something new today. If you have any recommendation of what you would like to see as another entry to this series, let us know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video and series, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and ta -ra.